Hi, so this is just a small demo video for Lucida handwriting. So that there are different kinds of handwriting like cursive print letters and one of them is Lucida. This is derived from the italic calligraphy technique. So it's just a monoline of the italic calligraphy. So first we'll look at the basic shapes that define the lowercase letters. So the first one is a serif line. So as displayed here, serif line is nothing but a small hook like shape that is added to a straight line. So this hook like structure that's added on the top and the bottom of the line is known as a serif. So this is the first basic shape, serif line. So you add a small extension or serif to a straight line. And this is written at a slightly uh, angled line from the baseline. The next basic shape is an overturn. So you start somewhere in the midpoint of the X height. You create like a curve and turn it around and bring it into a straight line. You start at the midpoint, go up in a curve and then come down in a straight line. That's an overturn. The third basic shape is an open oval. So an open oval, you start from the header of the BX height and you come down in a curved line and then you take it up. And then you do a flat line on the top. Small curve and then you take it up to the midpoint and then a flat curve on the header. So now we'll just try to put these basic shapes together to create a lowercase letter. So this is letter I. So you start with a small serif come down in a straight line and then end it in a serif then add a dot on top and that's your letter i for letter n you again start with a little serif come down in a straight line and then at the midpoint you create the overturn end it in another serif that's the letter n So if you look at here, you create a small triangular space between the first stroke and the second stroke. Similarly for letter N, just two units of letter N will give letter M. So you start with a serif, come down in a straight line, start at the midpoint and create an overturn. Again start at the midpoint and create another overturn, end in a serif. So again here you will create a triangular empty space in both ends. Now we look at letter R. You start with a serif, come down in a straight line. And from the midpoint you take a small curve upwards. That's the letter R. For letter U you have the underturn. So you start with a serif, come down in a straight line and then create an underturn and then again come down and exit in a serif. Now let's try to put through all the letters to create a sentence.
थैंक यू